Good afternoon again and a welcome. We are live from the UN headquarters in Vienna. Uh, it's the third day of the Zero Project Conference and is the third day as well of our very interesting um, fireside chats. It, there have been many different and very uh, interesting topics. Uh, and this would be uh, my last one, but um, the fireside chats will continue till uh, four o'clock this afternoon. Um, we are in uh, war times again, uh, this time near Europe, but we have also, um, when there are war times, uh, it's difficult for everyone, but uh, it's most difficult also for people uh, with disabilities. During war times and after war times, there are many more there um, uh, becoming disabled, let's say. Uh, we will connect to Iraq now with Mr. Fuad Abdullah, uh, which is the executive director of uh, Shayav organization. Uh, Shayav is working uh, both in Iraq and Kurdistan region. Um, they are trying to build the capacities of youth uh, and other vulnerable groups with disabilities. Mr. Uh, Abdullah, are you here? Do you hear me well? Yeah, I'm here. You, yeah. Welcome. Um, according <coughs> to statistics in 2019, there were approximately 2 million people with disabilities in Iraq. Um, yeah. Do you have same statistics yet or is the situation yeah. somehow changed for worse or? Uh, the first, I would like to uh, thank you, Emmanuel, and thank you for the Zero Project Conference to uh, make uh, this opportunity for Xiao uh, to participate in the conference. The first, uh, let me uh, introduce myself uh, to you. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm from Iraq. My name is Fuad. I'm executive director for Xiao and for Xiao for Youth and Vulnerable People Development. Also, Xiao uh, lead the uh, network for persons with disability in Iraq. Uh, yes, uh, about the uh, stat, uh, data about the uh, uh, disability person in Iraq, really there are not um, uh, formally uh, data, but uh, we are uh, have uh, some informal data. Uh, as you know about, uh, according to the World Health Organization, there are at uh, 15 percentage uh, in uh, publication in the world, there are disability. As you know about Iraq, I think uh, this number is increased because the Iraq, as you know, faced uh, more war during this uh, past years, uh, 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 specialized uh, exactly after the ICC war in Iraq. Uh, for that, uh, we have uh, trying to make uh, disability inclusive by uh, uh, main of the ways. Uh, for this uh, opportunity, I will uh, talk about uh, three topics. Uh, I can starting uh, the first about the youth engagement in DPO's organization for persons with disability in Iraq. Uh, so, uh, in Iraq, uh, there are uh, graduated youth, according to the uh, data in Iraq, youth are highest uh, sectors in Iraq. We have too many graduated youth, disabled or non-disabled youth in Iraq. Most of them employed, uh, not employed in their public or private sectors. Uh, uh, they most uh, don't have any experience working in any Field. We are in show organization supporting youth uh, by engaging into set of training or uh, on communication or reporting or team working, uh, work plan and budget and finance uh, in order to make them able to work support uh, the organization uh, for persons with disability in Iraq. Uh, we already have program youth uh, traineeship about uh, with our other donors about this issue. This uh, idea came from Xiao uh, about the, the another, another idea to how we can engage or make uh, disability inclusion with the society. Because as you know, with the disability society, we have uh, 
uh, more organization when they make inclusive uh, person with disability with this, uh, the society they have to take uh, one direction but as a shell we have two direction uh, the fairest that we can uh, all the uh, all, uh, some, uh, uh, other organizations that bring the uh, disability uh, person with disability to integrate with the society as in the Shia, we have uh, another idea make uh, bring the society uh, bring the society to integrate with them within their organization their dpos because make them uh, uh, integrate for them to so this uh, uh, inclu inclusion, uh, a, a new idea from show this inclusion to be integrated with the society. Mr. Uh, Abdullah, if I may, so you're yes. talking and you have built also a consortium, right? The Yes We yes. Can Consortium. And as far yes. as I understand, you are trying to do your best to build the uh, capacities of uh, youth with uh, disabilities in order to find a job and to be employed in a job market, but also uh, to build the organizational profiles of um, OPDs, right? And I know that one of the areas that you are focusing a lot is also disabled women and gender-based violence. What is the yeah. situation here, uh, especially yeah. with the gender-based violence? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so as you mentioned, uh, Emmanuel, uh, we are in the SHIA organization and we are the Yes We Can Network uh, for persons with disability. Uh, I will uh, add to this point about uh, that you mentioned it. We are uh, 60 uh, uh, organization for persons with disability. Within this uh, 60, uh, DPOs, we have uh, our, uh, this network, we have uh, 25 uh, disability persons under this. Yes, we can network for persons with, with, with disability. Uh, as you mentioned, we have uh, make a uh, capacity building for them to able to uh, run the project by themselves. Also, uh, uh, before we come answer your question, I would um, explain uh, another thing. We have uh, make uh, change uh, their uh, mentality from the because of the, uh, uh, most of uh, DPOs in Iraq they have uh, receiving charity. But we, we what we need to change this uh, mentality to, uh, from the receiving charity, uh, charity and to making them to uh, depend on those uh, on themselves and they. Uh, run a project take, uh, by a project by themselves when you have uh, a fund from the donor. About the disability women and GB, uh, GBVs in Iraq, actually, uh, there are uh, many centers about uh, women GBV uh, that uh, uh, have uh, um, a most of center from all the Iraq government. But what we have uh, noted uh, with Shia uh, organization about Women disabled, uh, disabled. There are, uh, I can uh, say, there are no no one uh, take care about this issue because, uh, as you know, you know uh, the women uh, with the vulnerable people they have faced uh, some uh, issues from the society about uh, GBV, but if the uh, normal non disabled uh, women uh, with uh, non with uh, non disability they it faced some uh, harassment or some anything about uh, the gbv topic but uh, a person a woman with disability they are facing double uh, double issues about this uh, this problem because for that uh, we have uh, uh, plan or our mind as a show organization to move uh, the society or the NGOs to moving about this topic, to uh, take care about this topic, because the women uh, with persons with disability, they are needed more awareness about this uh, topic. Yeah. Um, it seems you are, you are really trying to work uh, in every possible direction. Uh, how hard or how easy is for you to find support? I mean, um, you need also advocacy work. Uh, how is the legal basis in Iraq to, like, a, like, is it a favorable background? Is it a good background to do your work? And how are you doing with the, with the donor community there? Yeah, 
that is a good question. Uh, about this, uh, as we mentioned about Yes, We Can Network, <clears throat> we have established that Yes, We Can Network uh, 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 within the DPOs. Uh, as you, you know, because the money network has established it, uh, come from the project, then and the project will be in the uh, yes, uh, the network will be in. But our network, yes, we can network for persons with disability, is established without uh, depending to any project, but established to uh, get the project from the with, well, we uh, get the fund or project, we will make uh, the advocacy or awareness uh, about this issue, but about. If legally, yeah, there are, uh, we have a uh, uh, law about a uh, right on person with disability in Iraq. The law number is uh, 38 on uh, 2030. Uh, this law is specialized for the uh, human rights uh, for, uh, for disability and special needs in Iraq. According to this law, we can make uh, advocacy or any awareness, awareness, uh, awareness uh, activity about uh, issue related to person with disability, especially disabled women. Um, dear Fouad, we are live and this conference is being followed um, yes. by any corner, from any corner of the world, by many people. And also when the conference is over, the links are going to be there. So. Uh, we are all having quite an audience here. If you'd be calling for an action uh, for your organization, for people with disabilities uh, in Iraq, what are yeah. you asking from uh, any other organization or, or person who could be helpful <coughs> to your country and to, to the people yeah. you serve there? What's your call yeah. for action that we can use this space for? Yeah, uh, uh, about uh, that uh, uh, question you asked me, uh, we try uh, uh, forward to building uh, good uh, relationship and good link with the uh, internal or the uh, 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 law internal uh, on the uh, uh, external organization. Uh, to uh, sorry, uh, we have. Uh, trying to build for the international organization to be a link for the show organization within the show organization to be distributed with the other NGOs from Iraq uh, about the uh, change experience about uh, disability issues because uh, there are different experience uh, I'm sure for that uh, when they have an international organization for another countries, they have good experience about uh, all the issues related with, with the disability, person with disability. For that, we are looking forward to building a relationship with the other international organization uh, or relation or working about uh, disability issues. We are looking forward to build a good relationship with them. Fuad, zero conference, zero platform, and everybody who is not only working uh, at zero offices, but the whole zero family, I am very sure that uh, it's one of the um, supports that uh, you will have. Uh, I wish uh, you can come next year and be together with us here in Vienna and have more opportunities yeah. to network and um, to find uh, meaningful partners for uh, for your organization. I would like to thank you very much for being with yeah. us today and I wish you best of luck and let's keep in touch. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for all. Thank you. Dear all, thank you very much for being with us and uh, keep tuned because there is more to follow.